Hey everyone, Dennis here from Savage Forge Minis. Today I would like to show you how I paint my burnt iron. Before we start we have to protect all the parts on the cannon, they should not be painted. For this I use blue tech. Once everything is protected, we can start painting the cannon. I used the AK Interactive Thinner to thin down all my paints in this tutorial. The first paint I use is a natural steel from Model Color. This paint will give me a good foundation on the barrels to show the effect of burned iron. In the beginning we cover the whole cannon with the natural steel, so we create our foundation layer. To work with the metallic paints, I use a Badger Patriot 105. The needle is big enough, so we have no problems with metallic paints. Here can you see our finished base coat with a natural steel. The second step will be using the Model Color Bright Bronze. With the bright bronze, I try to cover only the areas around the ring what holds the barrels together. Try to create a soft transition to the left side and keep a part of the natural steel clean, also to the right side, because we need this later. Here can you see the finished bright bronze. Now I use the violet from Aero Color. In this stage I try to show the spot where we have the most heat on the gun barrels. Try to keep some parts of the bright bronze clean just with a soft transition so we will reach the effect of heated metal. With the Aero Color colors, I use my Iwata HPB. The needle is thinner and gives me more control over the paint. This is how the finished violet looks. The last color we need to create our burnt iron effect is the base cyan from Aero Color. Now I try to overlap a little bit the violet areas with the blue to darken it up and also spray the blue very gently over the natural steel to have a almost clear blue effect. That gives us the realistic burnt iron effect. We are almost finished with the cannon. Here you can see all the nice transitions between the colors. Now I use black from Model Air Color. I try to dole down a little bit the tip of the cannon and also simulate 
a little bit of black smoke. The last step is a wash with Devlin mud. With the wash I create a little bit more contrast in between the gun barrels and it will look more uniform. Here can you see the finished cannon with the burnt iron. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.